Uh, take two, we're back with Yak Does Yak. Um, we're interviewing obviously Shane Williams, uh, obviously due to uh, high demand out in Ireland and various other places we've travelled, Biritz, Ireland, Newport, mental crazy places. Uh, decided to interview uh, Shane Williams. Uh, Shane, pleasure to have you on the Yak. Just a few quick questions really. First one is, uh, grew up in Armourford, obviously, nice part of the world. Would you say he was a bit of a wild child? And have you got any stories to follow that? Um, I've got plenty of stories. I think I was a bit of a man in growing up. Uh, pretty much told by everyone and my mother. Nice. He was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, probably still am, you know. Not fair play, you know. Became legendary in the, in the Arm Valley as a pain in the ass, and that's one of the reasons I stayed there, really. Fair enough. Um, would you say you're a bit of a charitable person? Would you give back into charities, stuff like that? Oh yeah, and, you know, I'm, I'm no screws at all. Like, no. you know, I, I, I'm always uh, doing always stuff giving. for charity. Always giving. Always yes. giving. That's always giving. Right now, um, the uh, Irish equivalent to Bob Geldof. Um, so obviously you're a charitable person, and you've always had a big testimonial here, new. Yeah. How much of that have you donated to charity? Um, well, good question. Uh, it was you're always given. You're always well, given. I'm always given. You like that one, yeah? Really. Uh, testimony, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a big year for me, and it wasn't all about the money. But uh, I did have a few charities on board. Do you want to name them? Just getting this quite uh, the wide this yeah, yeah, we've done a, you know, we've done a bit with the Welsh Charitable Trust for uh, players that have sustained injuries uh, throughout rugby uh, and can no longer play. So we've obviously put a percentage towards that, and we've got a dinner nice. coming up on. I think it's sorry in in May for that. Then tickets know, are available. Are they? I think it's sold out now because oh, it's, it's a charitable screen. event. <laughs> on the screen, tickets yeah, on the screen. Tickets to the It's a charitable event, so that you know we won't be selling tickets for that. And uh, you know, like I say, it's all for good cause, and, and I'm all in for giving. So good. Thanks very much, uh, Shane. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And the charities do. Um, obviously, playing rugby can be quite a hectic, hectic part of your life, especially December's quite full on. I suppose with the fixtures. Yeah, well, of course, and. Um, you know, it's constantly playing rugby these days, a lot of games. Someone it? did say they spotted you in the pantomime in Swansea and they was wondering whether or not you're going to follow that this year because of the hectic schedule next this year coming up. What pantomime was it? Uh, <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yes, well, I actually, I this this Christmas obviously with the injury, I uh, didn't yeah. play much rugby. No, no, and obviously. The, and, you know, and, and you know how much I like my media and I'm getting involved in things like uh, pantomimes and TV. Yeah. Yes. And the the rule for uh, for Dopey came along, and uh, I fitted the bill. Like. Fair enough. I uh, can't blame that. Uh, was in... oh, that was quite good. Had good reviews. Happy days. Yeah. Um, obviously, too long. Uh, showed a bit of interest in you. As you can see, the sun is shining out there today. Yeah. Mostly in Toulon, is the weather's nice when you got the sun on your back. It's running rugby. The grounds are obviously hard. Yeah. More or less. Uh, what would you say? Really does help you uh, play rugby, so wasn't it? it? Makes you want to get up in the morning. Um, did you consider the offer, or is the offer true? That's what the public want to know. Uh, well, obviously, you know, I lucky enough to to have been in, uh, had a bit of interest from from clubs, and and Toulon were one of them. Uh, but like you know, you mentioned the weather. You know, I, I have no need no, to, not to, to, to be leaving Flandarsi or or south of Wales, no. especially with the sun we've had. Uh, Look at us, can we just days. pan out to the... As you, can, as you can see, it's been done. It's been done. It's been done. Once, is it? Right, okay. <laughs> Keep back, it's not going to last for long. But yeah, you do, you do, get, you do get interest, but uh, you know, I, I enjoy my rugby at, uh, at, at the Ospreys, and uh, like I say, uh, you know, the boys aren't that bad either, to be honest with you. Fair enough. Um, if you were an Osprey fan, what would your thoughts do you think would be this season? Um, another, I think it was another one that got away, isn't it? You know, we're... Uh, we're um, a Nats Willie, as they say, away from being uh, Heineken Cup winners, I think. Tommy Bow, that's what we would name him, Nats Willie. Nats Willie, yeah. But we're, you know, we're a Tommy Bow now, away from, from being a good side. And uh, you know, it's disappointing, we, a game that got away from us, Beeritz. Uh, but we're still in the Magnus hunt, and uh, you know, two very important games coming up, and we've got to win them. Fair enough. Uh, obviously, you're a bit sketchy coming on here. You obviously said you needed to get your teeth done. What's yeah. happened with the teeth, Shane? Well, I've had, I've had a bad couple of weeks with the tusks, as you can see. Um, <laughs> but over the over the years playing rugby and you know being one of the most physical players out there, smashing, yeah, bang, um, wallop. 
you know, average two tackles a game. <laughs> uh, you do get smashed in the face quite a bit, and I've lost a few tusks along the way. Yeah. Um, I had a few caps in there, uh, put in to cover. Yeah, fair. You know, the fact that I, they look like a burnt fence. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, against Italy, I had them all knocked out again. So I'm waiting now for, for my dentist to come back from uh, from Is that holidays. A sponsorship? No, I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna, that's going to be your own. That's non charitable. That's not charitable. Hollywood's way. But if there are any, there are any charity uh, dentists out there that we will, might uh, sort my tusks out, thanks very much. But uh, i got to wait for, for my dentist to come back. Now he's been stuck in the, uh, in the, in the ash and the volcanic grow uh, in America. And when he comes back, he said he's going to spend a, a whole three days sorting my tusks out. <laughs> <laughs> three days. Uh, so you've got fingers crossed this volcano just to make it down a bit. Can we have a close up on the tusks? It's a big yeah. job. Wow. Mm, that's it. Yeah, it's Zoom it out. Um, like a shark. Obviously, uh, as a player, coming to the, the right ball age of 30 plus, we probably won't go into the details. Um, oh, are you going to be one of the players that bows out after a World Cup, or are you going to keep going and then obviously play for your local team? Thoughts on that? Well, I'm hoping to keep playing until I drop dead, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be looking for that contract for as long as I can go, but uh, no, you know, I, you know, I think I've got a couple of years left in me, and, and as soon as I'm I'm not playing very well or, or not enjoying it anymore. I'll have my boots up, but uh, old head speaker. I'm not very good at anything else, to be honest, Yanto. So I've got to keep playing rugby for as long as I can. Oh, a um, bit of a rumor, and you know, it's when the true. stadium, you know, also when you're on the stadium when it's packed, because you know, quite a lot of support down there, and uh, the chant is, "We all live in uh, Shane Williams' house." Any reasons why? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm a very char- charitable guy, and uh, any any people that come my way sometimes looking for someone to sleep, you know, they can stay in my seven bedroom mansion. I, I don't. So to you, uh, have, pick you know, en suite. You know, they can stay in my my other house I've got, but uh, house or houses, would you say? Well, like I said, I've got one of these seven bedroom mansions in the Arm Valley that, that I just I let anyone stay in. Really. That's fair you know, enough. That's charming. Homeless kids. That's nice. Always give you know, it. Ramblers, whoever's Ramblers. coming along, <laughs> they can stay there. But you know, unfortunately, I've got my family, and I have to keep them in the castle. Yes, yeah, quite wise, I think. Um, what would I say in the next question? Obviously, when people obviously uh, mark their bodies as such, it always has a story behind it. Um, I.e., tattoos. Always, if anyone's got a tattoo, there's always a story behind the tattoo. Uh, Shane, have you got any tattoos? I got a, I, well, I got a really unique tattoo. Can you show us this unique tattoo? It is actually. Oops, see, I don't know if you can get it past the gun, but yeah, get the gun in. It's a uh, oh, the, it's a uh, Welsh dragon. Welsh dragon. How how many years ago would you have had that? Uh, it's got to be ten years. Ten years. Ten eleven years. Happy when you had it? I was ecstatic <laughs> when I had it, but then I got it about three or four months later when my mum. Uh, will you be my, getting a bit of a Maori? Tattoo on the sleeve. Can I don't know. I need to get an arm first, to be honest. <laughs> we'll get that in. But, uh, but yeah. I got, like three months later after I had it, one of my mates liked mine so much, had exactly the same one. That is friendship so, at its best. That so, yeah, you know, it's nothing to do with tribal bands or, or gangs or nothing. I thought it was an Adelford band. Which just is quite sad, really. You know? right. Um, right, we always ask the, the legendary question uh, chicken or the egg? Which one do you think in first? Well, you could have. You could have. Prompted me for this one. Uh, think about it. Science. Yes, I don't think science. Is no, I haven't got much to do with the science. Lord of us. I would not have a clue. I would have to just hazard a guess and say uh, the the Cadbury's cream egg. The Cadbury's cream egg. Who would have thought it? Eh? Um, James Hook's favourite. <laughs> Jimmy Hook. Um, right. Favourite moment in your career? Would you say the one that sticks out the most? Um, first cap. First cap for um, Wales. First cap for Wales wasn't, you know, wasn't the most memorable. It was the most memorable for two reasons. One, um, it was my first cap. Obviously, yeah. he came off the bench. And Special two, moment. first touch was a cracking interception Special. pass to Emil Intermac, who raced over from 40 yards. Bit of a legend in his day, in the Intermac. So um, that's one of the reasons you won't never forget that one. That's fair enough. Good reasons. Um, future ambitions. Have you got anything left to achieve? Uh, I obviously I'd, I'd love to win a World Cup and I'd, uh, I'd love to win a Heineken Cup with with, uh, with the Ospreys. Apart from that, I've pretty much done everything else you want to Okay, so uh, um, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you can make another one shortly and uh, thank you very much, Shane. Cheers, Yanto. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers.